Let's go, pal. Ah, uh, Diamond City. Just as rusty and grimy as it was when I left. You know, I haven't talked to this guy before. I don't think I have. A swatter, right? What's a swatter? <laughs> Rookie, eh? A swatter, my friend, is a Diamond City tradition. See, it used to be that this whole place was a stadium. And two teams would meet and play a game called baseball. Oh, this ought to be good. Beat the other team to death with these things called baseball bats. And, and the best bats were called swatters. True fact. No. Fucking no. Look, dumbass, that's not how baseball was played. <laughs> that right, Mr. Smarty Pants? Hey, if you're such an expert, how do you think it was played? There were balls, strikes, three bases, and home runs. You kept score by how many runners made it to home plate. I like my version better. Now, you would. Can I interest you in these genuine, authentic, custom made hickory swatters? <laughs> I will say some of the upgrades they have for baseball bats are ridiculous in this game. Fine. Get going. But I'm not doing a melee belt. I'm never going to see them. You can get like rocket propelled baseball bats. It's ridiculous. Also, in case anyone didn't notice, I sent Curie back to Vault 81 since she's not really uh, going to be able to use of me until she gets her synth body. And I don't have that available for her yet. So I'm going to do this one all on my own. It is kind of a personal story, too. This is me finally looking for my son. Nick? Oh, God. It's really you. Well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. So yeah, she not only gave me some caps, but also a detective outfit, much like Nick's. I think she's looking to get him a partner or something. And there are cases you can take with Nick, or even just for Nick, but for now we're going to focus on the important one. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can. We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. A lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? My wife was murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean and they. They just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. Well, they sure as shit weren't super mutants. They were too well dressed to be raiders. And the gunners tend to be a lot louder. So I'm going to go with the Institute as my prime, as my prime suspect. This institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. 
Those early model synths of theirs stripped whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, infiltrate cities and pull strings in the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal. And there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Either way, I need to find Sean. Right. We're going to find out more about Nick way, way later. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? That was really good. I didn't hear the name Kellogg, but that's... That's a real good guess for just such a small description. Who is he? Do you think he has Sean? Way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned wet stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. Maybe it's another kidnapped kid. Yeah. Either that or he's got a son of his own. Not a comforting thought in any case. Both of them vanished a while ago. Haven't been heard or seen since. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. Yeah, that's how we, that's how we met, man. You've really gone through a lot, haven't you? Hope you and Nick find that monster. Ellie? You two be careful. I like Ellie. She's got that Girl Friday aspect to her. The door seems to have jammed on me here. Hang on a second. Is there another way out of here? Thankfully, yes. That is a long-standing Bethesda bug where if an NPC goes through a door, the door can be uh, out of service for a minute. Uh, Nick? Sorry, I'm stuck. There we go. No enemies, because they're all dead. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. More than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The MO is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later. Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. It's easy to forget how big this city actually is, because you only ever go to like two places. There's the walkway in, the market, and then like the back alleys there. But there's still like an entire ups like uh, upscale version of the of the town right there. The mayor's office is up there in the uh, in the uh, in the box office. Box office? No. Um, what's that area called? The one up there? Yep, yeah, there's the mayor. What's the? I forget what it's called up there, and I'm probably not going to remember to write it down later, but. The, the VIP box, essentially, where like people watch the games from luxury, as it were. A lot of detail went into the de uh, design of this place. I gotta give the designers credit. This place looks really nice. Now Nick is good at lock picking, but unfortunately he's not a master. Something to hide, Kellogg. Why don't you give it a try? Fortunately, I actually am that good. Oh, nope. Yep. I don't think I can get it. Hey, Valentine. Stubborn lock, ain't it? No luck. Guess we'll need to find the key. 
I'm not just stalling on purpose. I actually do like the uh, the part that it goes from here. Yeah, the city entrance. That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. I can absolutely skip this whole section just by beating that lock, but I do want to actually go to the mayor's office, so we're going to make this detour. Everyone who's anyone reads public occurrences. Mayor, up this way. Mayor's office is accessible from an elevator um, just outside, but this is the easiest way to get up there. Look at this place. Look at all that unused real estate too. Like the whole stands back there are n like unpopulated, and up here. Oh, Geneva, honey. Article I'm writing about the mayor's affair with a certain air-headed blonde. Oh, look who it is. What brings you to the mayor's office, huh? What are you doing here, Piper? Trying to find out why the mayor happens to be meeting with the same suspicious-looking courier every week. Not from any settlement I've ever heard of. Not from a caravan. Always in and out before anyone has a chance to talk to him. An errand boy from the Institute, maybe. After this article comes out, that's what everyone's going to be asking. If you are done crowding the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. <laughs> I was just leaving anyway. Nice talking to you, Piper. Visitors, as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? I need to talk to someone about Kellogg's old house in the West Stands. Mr. Kellogg's residence? He left town a while ago. We foreclosed on the property and locked it up. If there was something belonging to the man that you have a claim on, you could ask the mayor to hear you out. No guarantees. I have a claim on a baby. I don't have time. I need that key now. Why is finding this key so important to you, honey? Please. All I want to do is find my son. The man who owned that house kidnapped him. Oh, you do seem like a sweet guy. All right. I'm just going to leave this key on my desk and forget I put it there. Your son's lucky he has a father like you. I hope you find him. Speaking of, while I'm here... Hey, Geneva. Remember, you didn't get that key from me. Now, if you're actually interested in buying a house, we have a permit available. As a matter of fact, I do. Well, let's hear about the permit. We have one home available. It's in the center of town, right near the market. You can do whatever you like with the interior, and all the tools you need to make your own furnishings are provided at no extra charge. I'll take it. Here's the key. Let me be the first to welcome you as a resident of the Great Green Jewel. It actually is a pretty nice house that they're offering down there. We'll check it out later. Nice as it is to be able to build your own settlements and whatnot, the problem with building a house in a settlement is that there's no way to designate it as your house. You can't lock it up in any way, so you might put down a really nice bed in your own house and then come home to find somebody else sleeping in it. Whereas with home plate, no other settlers to deal with. It is entirely yours. So I am going to turn that place into my own fucking bachelor pad to end all bachelor pads. But first, we gotta find my stupid son. I gotta say, I really love the uh, speed bonus I have on that armor I'm carrying. What's up, Nick? Got the key? All right, let's head in. You do the honors. Now, he hasn't been here in a long ass time, but I can't rule out the idea that there might be booby traps, Around. like. Kellogg must have left something behind. Shotgun on a string or something. Okay, what do we got? Hot plate, table lamp, couch, TV, bunch of random crap. Small to you? Figured a guy like Kellogg would think big. Switch on up here. He lived a fairly Spartan life, all things considered. All of the handcuffs next to the bed frame indicate he may have had some. Uh... Check out that desk. I'm getting there, man. Jesus, I don't tell you how to do your job. Oh, hey. 
Well, that's one way to hide a room. Interesting. You'd figure the house being bigger or like bigger on the outside would be a tip off, but what do I know? Well, look at this. All of a merc's favorite things. All right, so there's a buttload of ammo and supplies. Yeah, I'm just gonna take as much food as I can carry because stuff don't grow on trees. Some stim packs. Uh, what else we got? It's in the safe, I'm curious. Oh, come on. Yes. Oh! He's got a full set of NCR Ranger armor. I'm gonna go ahead and try this on, actually. Hang on a second. Okay, so, hang on. Here's me in my... Well, I'll put the helmet on so you guys can see it. Here's me in my Desert Ranger armor. It's basically just a fur-collared jacket with some tack gear underneath. It's not terrible. Whereas, if we switch over to the full Ranger helmet, mask, and coat, Oh yeah, the long coat definitely works for me. I, I think I can work with this. Best thing about this though, quite honestly, if I can show it off for a second, the helmet is, since it's a two-part helmet, the mask comes off and I can actually have conversations with the helmet on and still showing off my pretty ass face. <laughs> ass face, sorry, couldn't help. Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Mm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. Any suggestions, Nick? Mm. What about dog meat? Crap, look at his hand. Not like him can drag a man's scent for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, I know this is personal business. You have to face Kellogg on your own. Just say so. Any words of wisdom? Kellogg really is the one who kidnapped your son. And he's dangerous. But so are you. You don't need to be afraid of him or anything else the Commonwealth throws at you. I appreciate that. I'm going to bring Nick along because it just doesn't make sense for me to walk into a trap all on my own. I want you with me on this. All right, well, let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. All right. So, Kellogg left from here, and we're gonna use dog meat to pick up the scent. Thankfully, he actually knew that we needed him somehow and came running over to help, wearing all the gear I gave him earlier. Along with, I don't know if I showed this off, but the tactical armor he's wearing also increases his defense and carrying capacity. It's also customizable, I just made it blue because I figured it would look good on him. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Got something, boy? And so begins a long, long journey. Dog meat's going to be going for a while, so I'm going to try to stay as entertaining as I can on this run. If I start to feel myself nodding off, I might cut ahead from, like, uh, focus point to focus point. But it's also nice just to take a tour of the Commonwealth. Fallout's in a pretty enough game that even just going around wandering the, uh, the environments can be nice, as long as you're not in any of, like, the muddy gray-brown areas. If you'd like to adventure alone or with someone else, you can dismiss your companion by speaking with them. On survival mode, they actually recommend that you uh, travel alone, because if you take the lone survivor's perks, you get way more carrying capacity and way more damage resistance, which basically makes you a hell of a lot stronger than you would be otherwise. And in a game where you can get one or two shot at by the right enemy, it's definitely a good idea to look out for that.
Earth has been visited by alien species, so Zetans are said to be behind with powerful energy movements that can completely disintegrate enemies. Yeah, no, one of them shot at me, I remember that. Nick running up behind me. Got my fully modded light shining in darkness pistol. I'm gonna quickly, quickly show that off just because I like this gun so much. I've added the compensator. I got the uh, the comfort of the sharpshooter grip, extended the clip, and kitted out the receivers. Now this thing does way more damage than the vanilla 45. Trench sites take a little bit of getting used to, but I think they're designed so that they won't catch on the holster if you're trying to go for a quick draw. I will say though, I'm not a fan of trench sites as a per personally. I've tried using them, and it's just it's always hard to get a bead on somebody. The notch and post is how I is how I roll. Oh, we got some. Kellogg must have stopped here. Search around, see if we can pick up the trail. <laughs> What do we got here? San Francisco Sunlights. Dog meat pick up the scent again? Kellogg's preferred brand, all right. Hmm. Just smoking up a trail all the way to wherever the hell he's hiding out now. There are a lot of different uh, customization options you can give dog meat, like different collars, different uh, different bits of headwear. And as you saw, the, uh, the tra transdograffier, still can't believe we're calling it that, can change his appearance significantly, which is actually quite nice. I'm a little bit peckish here, hang on a second. Oh shit. Oh, legendary. Wary around mole rats after the uh, the Vault 81 incident. Give me a second to take all their meat because I'm gonna need their meat. Man's gotta eat, man. Also, you'll notice um, Nick is carrying a 38 pipe pistol, which. Good God, man, you've got to get yourself a better gun. Where the hell is dog meat? Did I lose him? Am I even going in the right direction? Okay, I have a different uh, thing on, apparently. I want to defend Somerville Place. Hang on. Dog meat's this way. There we go. We're not picking the best time of day or the best weather to go uh, fugitive hunting. Oh, went off the trail. Interesting. Going to assume that this was another one of Kellogg's pit stops. Keep your eyes open. Okay, you shot a lot of people here, Kellogg. More of his 44 rounds. Matches the magnum he shot my wife with. You can just bet we're gonna have words about that. Lost the scent boy. I don't think Dog Me's gonna let me through until I find the right clue that gets us out of here. Hang on a second, still looking around. Any more cigars? Is that my thing? I'm inspecting the blood spire, it's not doing anything. Can I hop over you? Can I... Would you... A little further. You can do it. A little more. Come on. Oh. Wow. 
Sorry, I didn't mean. Oh god, I missed this the whole time. That's stupid of me. Really was not happy having to beat dog meat to get him out of the way there, but I legitimately saw it as an AI pathfinding error and not me forgetting to find the very obvious clue hanging brightly on the side of the wall. Is this fungus? Yes, it is. Not edible fungus, just decorative fungus. Oh man, this weather is. Very spooky. Oh, we got. Oh, fucking god damn it. You got another one? Nope. I think this is my first Yao Guai in the game. For those who don't know, Yao Guai is a uh, mutant bear. And they are not to be fucked with. This is some really good armor if it hit me like that and I didn't take very much damage. Uh oh. Uh, okay. We got company. Take some cover. Here. I don't have so many stim packs. Holy crap. I've been collecting them just randomly and haven't noticed. I guess that must be the case. I'm running out of purified water, though. Alright, well, super mutants aside, let's continue the trail. I'm guessing the Super Mutants must have propped up after Kellogg came through here, because there's no way he would have left them, like, unmolested. Or undisturbed, I guess is the more appropriate term. Right. Dog meat's found something. You know the drill. Yeah. Let's keep checking. Set up some kind of... Oh! A mine? Decoy. What can't? Because of the clue prompt, I couldn't access the mine. Asshole. That didn't feel fair to me, but what do I know? Yep, he just took an air, took an air, chill out here. Across the bridge. How the hell far are we from uh, Diamond City? Yeah, significantly. Not a lot. Gotta wonder how fresh this trail is, though, given that uh, they foreclosed on his house like weeks ago. Oh shit. Anybody else want some? Oh. Oh. Holy shit, dog meat. It's rough. Ha. <laughs> rough. Dog pun. Valentine liked it that I shot that guy. Ghoul Slayer since peace. 
Didn't help that guy very much, did it? I'm gonna wait till I'm damaged a little bit more before I pop another. You know, I've got 49th impact. Why am I being stingy? It's the water I gotta be careful about. This was not a raider, this was a traitor. Attention, assailant. Lower your weapons immediately. I'll do as you ask. More for being polite than anything else. What have we here? Error. System corrupt. I can't feel my legs. There's a good reason for that. What happened here? Error. Operator deceased. Threat level Omega. He killed us. We're still on track. Hopefully he's not much further. What the hell was that? Okay, apparently this guy's done talking, but... We can't be too much further since that thing is still around. I love my lurk meat. I mean, I probably wouldn't if I actually had to eat the stuff, considering that it's fit. It's, I don't like seafood. That's my personal preference. Uh, I need to get rid of a couple pounds of uh, junk. There we go. I just wonder why I'm so loaded down now when I wasn't earlier. I'm guessing it's the extra armor I'm carrying since I'm wearing a brand new suit. Dog meat appears to be stuck. There we go. Shove your canine ass out of the way. There we go. Why in the hell would, um... Would Kellogg take this trail? I think he's just wandering through the woods at this point. At least he's heading for those satellite dishes. Oh, we got more bandages. What do you think, boy? Look around. Is this our man? So he's wounded. You gonna, you gonna go somewhere? There we go. Coming up on a hospital of all things. I guess it would make sense if he was shot that he'd be going to a hospital, but uh, apparently he didn't because we we're going right past it. Instead, we have. A military? Yes. Fort Hagen military base. Somehow he went through this door. Is this the place? Is he in here, boy? I knew dog meat would sniff our man out. Let's you and I take it from here. Give our four legged friend a break. Don't worry, dog meat. Just saying hello. Let's go, pal. 